Hello, welcome to this week's Dividend Cafe. I, um, I'm excited to kind of get into a lot of things happening in the market this week because we really have a huge chain of events all coming together once in earnings season, a lot of political events domestically, and a lot of international matters too. Um, to get right into it, it was an absolutely huge week in the markets. The market rallied about 450 points on Monday and Tuesday, and I'd be willing to credit the big move Monday, likely to a lot of the hedges coming off that were in place in advance of the French election, the election results being more or less what the market would have most wanted. Uh, we'll have a runoff in France on May the 7th and the winner is, is reasonably priced in and the doomsday outcome many were predicting is reasonably priced out. Big move up Monday in the market, but then we came back Tuesday and did the exact same thing, another 225, 250 points in the Dow. And at that point, um, I think you have to factor in the really positive results we're seeing in earnings season. It looks like this quarter will result in about 10 to 11 percent quarter over quarter earnings growth, the largest quarterly increase in earnings acceleration since the early part of 2014. Uh, accompany that with a kind of resurgence of hope around the fiscal reform concepts out of the Trump administration. Wednesday, they're announcing their corporate uh, tax reform and individual tax reform plans coming out with a full comprehensive idea as opposed to piecemealing the way they want to do this legislatively. Now, believe me, they didn't come out with anything comprehensive in terms of the details of the plan, but the general basics by bullet point are pretty well known and I think pretty palatable to markets, mostly pretty politically viable. Um, about 80%, I think, uh, of what they have now will hold into the final package. So flattening of the marginal income tax rates, um, a repeal of the 3.8% Obamacare investment tax, a repeal of AMT, a lot of hair around this uh, elimination of the state income tax deduction. And I can certainly comment on that further, but I think it is very good public policy. And it certainly kills politically this idea that the Trump tax bill would be a benefit to high earners only. The people most penalized by not being able to deduct their state income tax are the high earners in states like New York and California and, and things like that, largely a more wealthy or affluent class of taxpayer. So there's some political benefits and also I think good policy on a lot of the things they're doing. Some things I don't think are very likely to stick would point out the border adjustable tax that was nowhere in the final plan. Uh, we've been very critical and concerned about that component all year, and it would appear that the Trump administration is willing to let that die. It probably didn't matter much if they were willing to let it die or not, because I think it was dead on arrival in the Senate anyways. Um, in terms of markets overall, I really want to leave you with this concept this week. The basic uh, source of optimism despite some of the headwinds the market has faced and the political reality check that in a hundred days no administration is going to get done everything that they want to get done or even everything they say they're going to get done and yet the market has really not given up a lot of these big gains gains that came about because they were hopeful for a checklist of things that the Trump administration would get done and I think that what you've seen is that there's been a little setback in that expectation, the good has not been as good as been hoped for, but then there was also a lot of negatives that were feared that have been nowhere near as negative. Um, the, the protectionism and potential trade war concepts have really been quite muted. Um, I think that this week Trump picked a fight with Canada and, poor, and uh, uh, provoked a tariff around lumber, but he then came back and said that he would change his mind for now on repealing all of NAFTA. So that I, th I think that the market is largely pricing in. Maybe the good has not been as good as hope, but the bad has not been as bad, and we're netting out it around the same place. So we will see where that goes. Overall, I think the French thing is largely behind us, and we need to get through the rest of earnings season. We're about halfway done, but so far we kind of like what we see. There's still the same headwinds that have always been there, the geopolitical front and of course, the fact that valuations are frothy. But overall, we see a path to getting that, that growth acceleration story back, both domestically and globally. 
that's certainly our hope, but um, we got to continue managing not around hope, but around reality. I think we're we're really focused on that, doing a good job of that. Go have a good weekend. Thanks for listening to Dividend Cafe. Certainly check out dividendcafe.com as well.